What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. Today we are not going to be talking about stingrays, but we are going to be talking about these wolf fish. I'll explain a little bit more about why today's episode is about the wolf fish, but before we get to that part, I'm just going to give you a little bit of updates on uh, some fish that we have available. We have some of these hybrid white spot Motoros available and they are uh, ready to go. They are eating well. Let's see here. We got some uh, pearls over here. Let's see if I can turn on the flash. There we go. Now we can see them much, much more clearly. We got some nice pearl rays here all ready to go. I've, I've had a lot of requests for some uh, cheaper, more affordable rays. So here they are guys. That being said, let's get on to today's episode. All right, as you guys know, we got some of these um, Peruvian red fin or high fin wolf fish a couple of weeks ago. And we've been keeping it here, obviously, because the wolf fish are not permitted in Florida. So Rodrigo is not able to uh, ship it out of there, but I am able to sell and ship it out of California. Now, as you guys know, I mean, I'm, I would consider myself an expert with stingrays, but with a lot of other fish, by no means am I an expert, right? When I got the opportunity to care for these wolf fish, I found something very interesting. Whenever I started changing their water, they started jumping. And I didn't understand why they were doing it. Now, I thought that maybe, you know, I was stressing them out. Maybe I was doing too big of a water change. But they're all very healthy and they do not look scared at all. They're not panicking. They were just straight out shoot, uh, straight out jumping out of the water. And I, I started thinking, hmm, this seems more to be like a natural instinct for the fish, okay? And I wanted to figure out what, uh, what was the purpose behind them doing this, okay? Now, we, we know some fish in the wild, when they're going upstream, they like to jump, 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 and go upstream, especially with waterfalls. We see that with salmon, and I'm not sure does, does trout do that, but, uh, but regardless, you guys understand the point, right? So I started wondering, are they doing it for that reason? And then also, we also know that some animals or some fish in the wild, they jump out of the water to catch their prey, right? Uh, hunting for food, hunting for insects. I'm like, okay, let's try to figure out, you know, what is the reason? Now, I did a little Googling, okay, and so we got some help there, and I believe that, well, according to Google, they, they, they jump uh, to hunt for prey, right? But this particular uh, wolf fish, they're the smaller species, okay? They don't get very big. Now, when the tank is full, I never see them jump, but when the tank is low, or when I turn on the water right there, when I start filling the tank, they all start jumping like crazy, okay? And I wanna show you guys this uh, phenomenal behavior, and you will see, okay, now look at these guys. They don't, they don't look stressed at all, right? I'm gonna crack open the water here, and then you're gonna start seeing, look, see? They start jumping. And you see that? They're, it's like they're jumping towards the water. Do they look stressed out to you? No, not at all. They look like they're gearing up, but what are they going for? Now, I mean, they say they're going for food, right? But there's no food. So is it they, they see the, 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 the droplets of water? But I don't think so. Now let me shut this water off. Okay, and they immediately, they stop. So how interesting is that? Okay, so like I said, even though Google and research tells me that they're jumping for food, they're not hungry, they're very well fed. You see, they're all fat, thick, and healthy. Um, I've conditioned them very, very well. Sometimes I change the water after feeding. They still do this after feeding. Definitely, they're not hunting for food. Now I believe it has something to do with the water splashing, maybe mimicking them being in the wild, in the river, and probably trying to go upstream or travel. Now watch, I'm gonna do it again. Now, 
and I'll do it very slightly, ever so slightly, okay? Now, they don't do it as much, but you'll, you'll see every once in a while, you'll get one or two that will jump up. All right, maybe not. So let's crank it up a touch higher. There we go, look at that. Now they start jumping. It's so interesting. Now, the problem is they jump so hard, they hit the top of the acrylic and I hear them bang. Okay, so now it's, it's caused me to have a problem because every time I change water, they do this. So I'm worried about them injuring themselves. So I try to do it slower, but if I fill the water slower, they jump more and more and more because, you know, obviously of the, the splashing. I, you know, sometimes I'm almost inclined to turn it full blast and fill it up as fast as possible so that uh, they don't hurt themselves as much. But this is such a crazy, crazy phenomenon. And if any of you guys at home who better understand this fish than I do can maybe explain to me why they do this, I'd be very interested to know the behavior. Um, because as interesting as it is, obviously as I'm doing the tank maintenance, I don't want them hurting themselves. In the wild, they can jump straight in the air and land back down and they're not gonna hurt themselves. But you, I can hear them bang, 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 okay? And it sometimes is very painful to watch this happen. And like I said, I always do these water changes after feeding. So once they do this, then they start throwing up their food. Like you see, there's a piece of shrimp right there. But today, I fed them very little in anticipation of doing this video. And I'm worried they hit so hard, they might crack their neck. But so far, they've been really good. So it must mean they have a really, really tough skull. See, I shut it off again. Now everything is all good, all peachy dory. Um, although this guy looks a little hurt. You see his head? He probably hurt himself pretty bad. All right, so we're gonna have to separate this guy out. But as for the rest of them, you know, now they got nice clean water and they stopped doing the jumping. Like I said, if any of you guys know, please share it in the comments below. Let me know. And uh, if you guys want to update on the Kappa Petrum, they're doing very nicely. Um, I will show you guys a feeding clip of them. They're eating very well. They're eating chopped shrimp. I think they've already put on about an inch to an inch and a half. And let's see, we still got some of these parrots down here. Oh, and uh, we got some more pearls down here. And uh, I guess being this is a, a Stingray channel, I might as well show you guys some stingrays and uh, not just talk about these wolf fish. Uh, I do like to take the opportunity to show you guys other fish as I'm learning about them as well so that you know we can all learn together. All you guys know that Scorpio he's developing very nicely his spots are starting to lighten up and he's turning white he was more the spotting was more tannish brown from birth until now but now it's starting to show nicely there's another one. Oh, right in here. Let me see. Uh, let me just walk around and see what else I can show you guys. Um, we did have some uh, Bosmani pups last week. I don't think I made a video on it, but I posted on my Instagram. So there's some there. Um, we had a birth uh, yesterday or the day before. Uh, two black diamond pups is this one here on the right and the left and they're doing really good and they're already eating on the shrimp which is pretty impressive for a uh, fish that's only two days old here are a couple of grow outs for future breeding um, turning out very very nicely so this gives you an idea of the caliber of um, pups that I produce. There are some other ones. Uh, these are for sale here. These three. Okay. And um, I think I think we have some more pups in the front. Let's go up to the front. Uh, this tank here, uh, the epoxy coating has been sitting here for almost two weeks now. And I'm just waiting to find the time to fill it up and plumb it back. I've been so busy this week with all these shipments coming in and out. Um, and I got another big shipment coming in next week more of the copper petrums uh, we're gonna be doing like another like 2,000 pieces let's see here um, some more black diamonds right there 
let's get down here. You know what? Let me turn off the pump and give you guys a quick look on what's going on down here. Let the ripples die down a little bit. Some more designer hybrids. Very unique, interesting patterns. I just fed them. You know, there's still some shrimp there. I will probably give them a nice little snack of uh, night crawlers a little bit later. Here's a nice little uh, big spot super white hybrid. And well, we, I think we got some more. These rays right here, these are also hybrids. And uh, what else? What else? What else can I show you guys? Um, these are albino hybrids. And uh, probably some of you guys have been asking and been wanting to see update on Sunshine. Uh, there she is, growing very nicely. If she'll come off the glass, but uh, she's doing really well, very responsive. Uh, she's not coming off the glass, but you guys can see her a little bit. There we go. The rings are developing very nicely. Another sibling of hers in the back. And what else do we got? Uh, that's pretty much it. Some Bosmanis. If you guys want to see the development of some Bosmanis, these guys are about maybe, uh, I would say, 10, 11 inches. They're doing very nicely. And let's see, what do we got here? This is a uh, golden uh, pearl. Very unique pattern there. Doing nicely. And... Um, the ever popular uh, line pearls. I still haven't uh, selected names for all these guys, but everyone did a really great job submitting names for this guy. Um, I was partial to a couple of names. Uh, somebody suggested Striker for it being such a striking fish. And uh, since I like X-Men, uh, the name Striker kind of stuck with me. Uh, some other people said Maze. Oh, or Mace, Mace, which is a uh, kind of I like that name as well. So I haven't decided, but I'm still, uh, you know, gonna consider those options. And uh, that's pretty much everything, guys. So thank you for uh, watching today's episode, and uh, be sure to stay tuned for more future episodes. All right, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Right. We got some shrimp right here, and we are gonna feed these little baby copper petrums. They've already grown quite a bit. Watch, they're gonna start going. There they come, they sense the smell. And then now they're starting to pan, go nuts. And one by one, they're gonna pick it all off the bottom.